Hi, my name is Ella Wu. I'm the doctor of occupational therapy and the lead occupational therapist at Speak for Success. <laughs> Many people think occupational therapy is similar to physical therapy, which is true. But how are we different from each other? My job as an occupational therapist is to help people from any age to be functional and independent in their life, which include being able to take care of yourself, managing things at home, going to school, and going to work. For kids, our goal in occupational therapy is to help with development. We want to support kids with developmental delays to be successful in school and at home. Part of the development includes personal hygiene, sensory skills, motor skills, cognitive and attention skills, and emotional regulation. Personal hygiene is our ability to take care of ourselves. Something like dressing, going to bathroom, brushing our teeth, or even taking shower. Sensory skills. Sensory skills are the ability with sensory processing. Um, I've seen a lot of kids being sensitive to bright light, loud noise, or even certain textures. Motor skills. Motor skills are our gross motor and fine motor skills, which are our coordination, balance, movement, um, our handwriting skill and our dexterity. As speech of success, we notice kids struggling with handwriting and fine motor skill, like being able to cut the paper with scissors or using utensils to scoop and stab the food. And this could affect their performance in school and at, sc and at home. Cognitive and attention skills, that may be typical for ASD and ADHD. Emotional regulation. Emotional regulation is our ability to self-regulate it and regulate our emotions. I have seen kids struggling with emotional regulation that they have difficulty identifying their emotions and regulating the emotions. In general, more people are being diagnosed because there are more resources to diagnose people. In this day and age, kids are facing different challenges than we were seeing before. Kids are having a lot of information, social and sensory overload from media. And social and sensory isolation, especially from the pandemic and other events during their earliest critical development. I read really lost sensory. That is my thing. <laughs> I even published a book called Sensory Activities for Preschoolers. I start with five common senses in sensory. These are vision, our eyes, smell from our nose, hearing from our ears, mouth, and last thing, touch. When someone has a sensory disorder, they may feel intense negative sensation and respond to very light input. Imagine this. Imagine you're staring at the sun. How do we feel? We may feel uncomfortable, sensitive from the bright light. This is how people feel when they're being sensitive to bright light. Some kids may be sensitive to bright light, loud noise, or certain textures. Speak to success, I noticed some kids being sensitive to certain textures. They don't like a messy, gooey, stinky feelings. That could be a part of sensory that they're sensitive to certain textures, which may affect their feeding too. They don't like certain textures of food. Speak for success, we also have a feeding program going right now. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, or if you have kids with who are picky eater, please feel free to give us a call. And last but not least, we have two more senses in our sensory which are body awareness, which is known as proprioception in medical term. So this is our ability to feel about the movement. You may see kids struggling going upstairs and downstairs or being clumsy. Another one is balance, which is known as vestibulation. 
it is in our vestibular system. Some kids are afraid of height and afraid of movement. Most importantly, this is something I always, always, always tell people and parents that sensory disorders are lifetime issues. They cannot be fixed, we're not able to fix them. My job as an occupational therapy is to help lower the threshold so things don't feel extreme or overwhelmed. As Beach was says, we're excited to serve you and your kids. If you're noticing your kid is struggling with one of the skills in the development, please feel free to give us a call to schedule for the evaluation. Mm -hmm.